All right, hey, what's up, guys? It's a cold, rainy day here in Florida, but I come to you on the Cletus 2 channel to discuss some items about the future of our live streams. A couple of big things here. You're gonna wanna listen up. First of all, the Cletus 2 channel, I wanna change the name of that, so drop comment ideas below. I want a spicy name for the second channel, but it has to include the word Cletus, so just keep that in mind. Second thing, all of our future live streams are taking a leap okay so here's the situation last year well two years ago we partnered with a company to do the pay-per-views and it was a great partnership we had a revenue split and we made some awesome pay-per-views that's how we got into the pay-per-view game and it's been amazing for the track i promise you without pay-per-views the freedom factory would not be what it is today you guys you people have helped pay for so many things over there just by watching the pay-per-views so thank you for that but uh, we partnered with the company, and it was a great relationship. But and my goal is to grow the pay-per-views to like a whole new level, just like outrageous level. Uh, we went ahead and separated that partnership, and we are taking all pay-per-views in-house. So we're going to be doing them all on their own, which requires big investment to get all the equipment. So we have like no equipment because we were partnered up with them. But we want to like take this thing to just a whole different scale and that just required going on our own and us making our own investment. And I'm really nervous and really excited. So the Freedom 500 will be our first live stream that is going to be a representation of our own pay-per-view company. So that's really exciting. And we are just going into this thing head first. We're putting in the money, getting the right equipment and hopefully putting together the best show possible for you guys. So with that being said, if there's things about our pay-per-views that you didn't like and things you really want to see now's your opportunity to tell us and we're going to make that happen for you guys i want to make this amazing we have so many good shows this year we got freedom factory shows we got indy we're doing a crown Vic race at indy we got freaking bristol check the schedule haven't talked about that much but we got like humongous plans for this year so i want to make sure the pay-per-views are on point for you guys so drop comments on that third thing the live streams on the cletus 2 channel we do those for free like spectator drag nights burnout nights things like that we do those for free because it's fun and we just want to bring awareness to the freedom factory and all the amazing things we're doing i mean where can you go for 20 dollars and see an amazing spectator drag show truck pulls and the dirty 30. you can't go anywhere else like the value we're giving our fans is incredible and we're making these live streams just for fun so you guys can watch literally or spending money so that you guys can watch for free. Unfortunately, the live stream live chat gets out of control every single time. So we actually hired a moderator and the moderator was so overwhelmed from trying to shut people up that he just eventually had to turn off the live chat. And I'm all about freedom of speech and letting you guys go on whatever tangents you want to go on usually. But this last one, it wasn't just politics and dumb stuff said about, you know, our friends and family, which sucks, but you know, usually whatever, it's like, it's a live chat. This time people made up this thing that James was in some horrendous car accident. And it's just, it's really sucky because not everyone's around James when we're at the track. Like when I was told about this car accident, I wasn't with James. So I'm like, did James just try to like go over to the track or go over to the shop and get hit by a car? Or like, what's going on here? Or are we getting trolled? And you know, his wife, works with us so i don't even know what that situation turned into hopefully she just realized they were trolling but like people are going around asking me like hey is james okay i heard he's in a car accident and i'm like what are you talking about so i call him and he's totally fine it's just this thing that the live chat made up so i get on my phone and the entire live chat is just talking about how james was in a horrendous car accident people saying he died and i mean it just it sucks dude honestly that really kind of sucked so we ended up turning off the live chat and then the people are commenting like, you know, don't let one bad apple ruin it for everybody. Dude, it's not one bad apple. The comments were 90% bad when I went in there, like 90% just idiots going on rants about the most random things had nothing to do with what was actually being displayed in the live stream. So we're doing this for free for you guys to enjoy. So gosh, dang it, man, there's 22,000 people on and all these people are saying horrendous things about our family our friends james and there's twenty two thousand people seeing it so apparently 
everyone's just too irresponsible to be in a live chat in front of, you know, 20,000 people. It's probably the biggest live stream on YouTube that night. So I'm just like freaking out. So here's the deal. Uh, the good news is about us starting our own pay-per-view company is that all live streams in the future will be hosted now on CletusMcFarland.com or BaldEagle.com. And we are going to still keep the fun ones free. There won't be a live chat because clearly no one can handle that. But we're going to keep them free so that you guys can enjoy them. And then obviously the big events like, you know, the Freedom Factory races and Andy and Bristol and some other really cool ideas we have are going to be paid for. And we're also coming up with some cool ideas for like a subscription model and stuff like that. So I'm really excited. But that's where I stand on the whole live chat thing. I mean, if you are dumb enough to come to my channel and tell me I'm wrong, you're crazy because starting panic amongst my friends and family is not worth any amount of money. And especially when we're giving a free event, like I'm just not going to do it. That, that sucks, man. So real bummer on that deal. But being that we're uh, doing our own pay-per-view thing, it's kind of perfect time. You just switch everything over to the website anyway and not even have to worry about that aspect. So it's all good. That's my update. Thanks. See you later.